Hey, I'm an ex-alcoholic and I've worked with hundreds of people and I've learned that alcohol just hijacks our dopamine. I have ADHD, so the only thing I want is to do anything that could release dopamine or serotonin, oxytocin, endorphins. Anything that could bring pleasure is actually physically filling a chemical deficit in my brain. I'm thinking a thousand thoughts, feeling a thousand feelings. I just want them all to stop. So anything that could bring that to fruition, calm my nerves, is something I'm going to be interested in. This is how I developed a dependency, because just the thought of alcohol was enough for me to get excited at that the thoughts are going to go away real soon. Now I'm really excited. Oh, if only a little bit of alcohol can help me erase 10, 20 thoughts, then wouldn't it make sense that a lot of alcohol could erase all of those thoughts? Just the illusion that I wasn't stressed or anxious or thinking about what might happen, what did happen, what is happening, made me feel so good because I could relax into the truth that soon these thoughts will be gone and I will feel like everything is okay. The reality with anybody that drinks alcohol is they're not drinking because they don't care. They're drinking because they don't want to care. There's so many things that we could care about and it doesn't matter how much we care about them, they're still there, just go away. This is why alcohol becomes such a desirable, you know, uh, element in our life. So if you've basically rewritten your neurochemistry to think that alcohol is one of the only ways or it's become the primary way in which you find symptom relief, releasing of dopamine, the illusion of joy, or at least the perception of peace. Trust me, man, I spent 24 years living in that space all the way until my liver failed. So don't be afraid to reach out and ask for support. And if you're in that space, don't be afraid to check my page for more details on how I've supported thousands of people.